Hi, everybody. It's another morning with Donna, and I'm thrilled to be teaching you some geraniums with some fancy little leaves. And I might have it along the way somewhere where I've done it, but I get better all the time. So I, I know you do too, as you're painting with me. So um, it's a great new day. And I feel blessed that I can share painting with you. And I hope that you're as excited as I am as we come up with new relax and paint projects. And I want to encourage you, while I've got two seconds with you, to do two other things. One is to please go on Fridays and check out. Some people are binging on my practice strokes because I give you strokes to practice with different brushes and how to use them, how to use tools that will make one stroke painting easier for you. And I also teach you how to use each brush. And so if you have a question like, what does she mean by that medium? All those answers are right there on practice strokes. And I give you something like homework during the week. And I would love for you to join our Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook. And we love to see everybody sharing their practice work and uh, sharing their relax and pain. So I'm thrilled to have so many join me from there. And we also started the One Stroke Advantage membership. It's right here on YouTube. I didn't want you to go anyplace else. You can get it right here. And whenever you come on to YouTube with www.onestroke.com, no, www. That's my website, dot youtube.com, and then go to Donna Dewberry channel. Then it will say, not just subscribe, it'll say join. And that join makes, it's like a pair, approximately $10, it's, it's a little bit less than $10 a month. And I teach you four complete long lessons. And we talk and share things with each other. So it's just like a fun membership where I help you and you evolve and grow with me um, as you're wanting to develop your painting technique with one stroke. So I would love to have you join. We have lots of YouTube subscribers who have joined us now and we're brand new, just a few months. But now when you join, you get all the past months and they're right there. So you don't have to download them. They're just right there, like if you went to YouTube. But there's special features just for you there. And we're getting ready. I don't know when you watch this, but we're getting ready for December 1st evening. We're going to have a one stroke advantage Christmas party. And so it's going to be so much fun with lots of door prizes and also. Um, not door prizes, but giveaways, because <laughs> you won't be at my door, but I wish you could. All right, so let's get painting. Sound good? All right, so I'm going to go to my overhead camera. So I'm going to come down, and we're actually going to do this on a dark gray paper, and this is, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, um, like multimedia board paper. It's heavy duty, so it doesn't wrinkle, all right? Now, I have done something. Ignore the white. I just made a mess here. Citrus green. These are all multi-surface colors. Um, so when you're looking at this, I want you to see what the bottom looks like. It's multi-surface, all right? It's a little blurry there. And the top of it looks like that. And on onestore.com, you can also find these if you can't find them in your stores. And we ship to other countries too. Citrus green, sap green, apple red, berry wine, floating medium. Can you see that? And um, we're not really using much white, but just a teeny bit. But I was base coating and I put it there by accident. Okay, so here we go. So what I want to share with you is that I'm going to come in and get some stems first and some leaves. So I'm gonna use my 16. Oh, here's a 16. These are my signature brushes, all right, um, that are lavender. You can also use, a lot of you have my dark green handle. It's a dark green handle, you can see. <laughs> Don't do very brushes, that's what I got you back. And those are great brushes to start with too. But I'm going to come here and I'm going to load in. If you have a double loader, you can see those on my practice strokes that shows you how to load better if you're having loading problems. I'm going to get some medium, work it in. 
and I am going to put a little bit of white. So I just tip the way, bring it here. Now, what I want to show you is these geraniums are going to come from way up there. I have some little buds over here. Now I'm up on this chisel edge and I am bringing them all in here like that. Okay. Now I'm going to have some little, little buds like and some of these and bigger clusters than others. But one thing that makes this look really good is how I do the leaf. So I want you to see, I'm going to put a V, a V, and a V. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, put, push down and come part way. So I push down, scrub, scrub all the way around. Okay. Now I can come over this a little bit more if I want. And I want to show you how I can lighten it too if I want. So we're going to come down a little bit more. Come right between these two and pick up citrus green. Just pick up some white. And let's get some brighter green on this over here. Okay. Oh, look how bright that is. Now I'm doing almost a, almost a half of the circle. Okay, so I do want to come back in here and make sure I get the shape I want. Okay, now I can pull the stem into here on the chisel again, right into the middle. All right, so let's not have so much sap. Let's do more of the white and citrus with a little bit of sap and the inside so that you're going to be able to see the, the color that we're going to put in the leaf a little bit more. See that? Okay, now do you see that's not so white? It's just a little bit more citrus. All right, so right here, this one has just citrus and sap. This has a little bit of white. And this has more, okay? All right, so I'm going to take some of that color away so it's not too bright, but it does give me, it gives me uh, a lot of shadow though, so. Okay, so what happens is I can do a couple that are just, where they're on the edge. Can you see that? Where they're on the edge, where you're just seeing. Let's come around a little bit. One of the ways we can do this too is if we're here, we can ruffle it up and back down. All right. So you see that's looking straight at it. And that's looking an angle, okay. All right, so we're just seeing the side of it, kind of. All right, I can put a couple of little ones in here and there. So watch this, I'm gonna roll it. Roll, roll. You can practice those rolling strokes on practice strokes where I'm whirling the petals and the, and the bristles for the leaves. Okay. So I can come in here. Look what happens if I put the dark on the outside. So you just go around in there. All right, so I'm showing you all kinds of colors. Now this has to totally dry before I can put any shading on it. These are how I do the one stroke geranium leaves because it's simple and it's achievable and I promise you, you'll like it, okay? Now I want to do some of these geraniums and what I wanna share with you is there's a couple of things we can do. We're on a dark surface, so I can come in here and just do I've got the angle brush. 
see the angle brush. I'm just picking up the tip of this brush, which is the toe. And I'm going to slip slap just back and forth, back and forth with that corner, the toe. All right, so I'm on a dark surface. So all we need to see is some bright apple red. See that? So as it dries, the thick apple red is going to show more. And then the underneath is going to be darker. Okay, now that's one way to do it. As that dries, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And then over here, I'm going to, let's say over here, I'm going to put berry wine in the background and let you see the difference. What I like to do is when I'm showing you things, to show you different things to do to get different looks. All right, so there's um, berry wine. And then I can come out here just with the toe. I did not wipe off the apple red. I'm just taking the toe and I'm getting with space in it in between. Can you see the space? I'm just doing the berry wine. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna get a smaller brush. Let's get, let's get for a 10. Okay, well, here's an eight, right? Yeah, let's do an eight. Now on an eight, I can grab berry wine and a little bit of apple red, berry wine and apple red. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna come right up here and I'm going to make little teardrop petals. So one, two, three. Now I'm in the shadow there. So let me pick it up a little bit so it won't be shadowed. Do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so they don't have to be perfect, but do you see it because it's a dark background? The apple red gets dark on here. All right, now um, you can base coat an area. So see that I've got thick right there. Let me move it over a little bit. All right, so this is actually showing you the petals. The other way you can do it is you can do like this and just tap the chisel of the brush and get some texture too. See how that's drying to dark? All right, so let's come over here. We keep going over here and we're picking up paint. Now look what happens. I can come right in here and I am not making the whole teardrop. Here's the whole teardrop, okay? Let me do one out here. So here's a, a whole teardrop. Okay, so push and stand up, push and stand up. I'm not doing that. I'm just coming here and doing a little bit. So you just see the round of the teardrop. And we're just gonna do a few of those here and there. That, I'm gonna take away that big one. Okay, so now see, I left that berry wine in the background. Okay. Now, so I don't want to confuse you. This is berry wine. Then this is adding the apple red to berry wine. This is all just apple red, but there's some thicker that's brighter red and some in the background that looks darker like this, all right? So, I also have these little buds that are hanging down and I'm just chiseling those. And there's a couple that came out in here. All right, so I'm gonna show you how that looks when you put the green on it. All right, so right here again, we got little buds that are coming up. All right, can you see that? And I can even do a little bit of one that's starting to bloom. 
Okay. All right, so what I want to show you is on this guy, we are going to add with the corner just a few little dabs. And you can decide which one looks better. Okay, so you can have it all red like this, or some with the berry wine in the background. I think we get a little bit more depth with this than we do with that. But look, I'm going to take and make this darker in between these two with a little bit of dark in here. Okay. All right. So what I want to do now is show you how we add some big green to this. And when we do that, there we go. All right. So when we do this, we're going to use a six. And what's going to happen? And sometimes I have little stems that are holding all these little um, areas where the blossoms are. Or sometimes I just come in with a six and pick up citrus. Now, this is what's happening. We're going to chisel edge, push and lift these little guys hanging from underneath that, that um, some of these haven't bloomed yet. Can you see that? All right, so I think those really add to it. So I picked up citrus and sap. These are all pretty bloomed out, so I can just have a few little guys come in from under here. All right, but then over here, so these new blossoms, we're gonna come right in here, touch and lift, touch and lift, because they're starting to bloom. Okay, and there's a few coming in here. Push, not skinny. Push. All right. I know that looks like it's glowing a little bit, but. All right, just a few little strokes here. And they hang down from underneath here. Isn't that kind of fun? Now, a little bit of adding some of this in the center of the flowers, a little bit of citrus will give it a cool look too. So in here, we are we're having a big glare from the gray, the dark, the dark paper. But I like to show you, let's see if we can get up and see if it shows as much there. All right, so now see those look like they're coming from it, but this looks like I just went around. So that doesn't look as good. So I can come in here and add a few more little guys. So it's like they're getting ready to burst open. Now I wanna show you that I can come in here with a little bit of thick citrus and I can add little teeny dots to some of these centers, but little. See that little bit makes a big difference. So now over here where we're just going for an illusion, I'm gonna show you that's too big. I want little. All right, so I'm going to go from this look to a little, I'm get the smaller brush. All right, so what I want you to see 
is I did get, there we go. I'm gonna clean that brush. I am gonna come in here. This is real important that you hang on so you see how to do these leaves really good. Okay, I am gonna come in here and I'm going to get a few petals that really look like petals in here. But I have to have berry wine on one side, on half of the brush, and apple on the other half, apple red. And I want to come in here. Now watch me. I'm going to get some berry wine on the outside edge on a few of these. So can you see this? There we go. OK. So then I will have a little blossom. Let's come here with a little bit. I will have a blossom to put the citrus green into. So little teeny touches. And they need to be really small, not the handle of the brush to get dotting, but just the tip of the brush. OK, just little bits. All right. Now, I'm going to take this liner. And I'm going to come along here again and do a couple of these little guys, like they're getting ready to come up with more growth. And I think they give it a little bit of a fuller look in here. And push and lift with a two script liner. All right, and I do like to just put a teeny bit of let's get that small brush, a teeny bit of red maybe coming up on some of these, just a little bit. Okay, now, now I'm gonna take my twelve flat. Okay, I'm gonna dampen it, lay it on the paper towel. I have to get the floating medium. Now, um, the geraniums I'm looking at right now are more like berry wine instead of red. I want you to see, I'm gonna do red and I'll do berry wine, let you pick out your favorite, all right? So if I'm coming right here, this is real important that you get close. I'm coming right here and I'm going to go back and forth along here. and paint those geranium leaves, okay? Now you can see, looks like I need a little bit more in here. Okay. All right, I can pull the floating medium and take a little bit away if I need to. All right, so let me show you what it looks like on a really dark one. All right. Now, usually I don't have any problem with too much red. So what I'm telling you why that happens. So we need to make sure that we don't do that. Okay, so let me show you again. I had to clean the brush, just get floating medium. All right, so now let's go here and just get berry wine. And I keep stroking it till I get berry wine on that edge. All right, now that's what we, you can go back and forth. All right, so let's go right here. So this is on the vintage geraniums. They use more of this color, which is the berry wine. But see how it's keeping it on the edge, out there on the edge. All right, and you get that fun look. So that's berry wine, that's the apple red. All right, so I'm gonna kind of pick up a little bit more medium and go over here and pick up some apple red and just go right on this outside edge. And you can leave some of the new growth with maybe the new little leaves with maybe not so much, but just a little bit. 
Can you see just a little bit? All right. And some more medium, a little bit. Well, mostly because I'm on paper. If you're on a canvas, don't keep getting medium because you probably have plenty. Now, doesn't, without a doubt, I'm telling you, you know it's a geranium because of the leaf. Sorry. The leaf designates this flower. All right. But they did have some white geranium. So I know there's some white ones that you can put in there. But um, I wanted to show you that there's a quick and easy way just with the corner. You can do some strokes. Um, you can um, make the leaves really pretty no matter what. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you guys practice, relax, and paint something that you didn't think you could paint. It's a good thing. Now, I just gave you many different ways to do the same flower. So you guys practice, try out different ways of doing the geranium and see what's your favorite. And go back, if you just stop and go back and watch me again and again or freeze it and then come back, you are gonna be able to see the different ways that I use the brush to make those happen, okay? Oh, I wasn't even in front of you, sorry. I thought y'all could see it. All right, well, I signed it, there you are. I'll see you on Friday, I hope. Thank you.